have the necessary ingredients for our perfect library. Dedicated patrons, our amazing staff, and now this fantastic building. So we step into our future and enjoy the bounty begin within. Let us show thanks by continuing to support and honor this testament to Hopkinton's commitment to foster the pursuit of knowledge. Our future generations shall continue to use the wisdom and information enshrined here to educate themselves, generating scientists, engineers, doctors, teachers, innovators, and leaders. Those are the people that shall continue to improve this world so that we can all thrive in it. Libraries are the cornerstone to a free society of well-educated citizens. The spirit of that is captured in the words of author Toby Forward. Civilized nations build libraries. Lands that have lost their soul close them down. Thank you very much for coming. I am truly honored and delighted to be here today celebrating this bright, new, wonderful, fabulous, wonderful, incredible Hopkinton Library. There aren't enough superlatives, are there? It's 25,000 square feet of melding the old with the new. It's almost five times the size of the old one. So on behalf of Governor Baker and the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, we congratulate the dozens of people who worked so hard for so many years to make this library a reality. Well done, Hopkinton. Special congratulations, of course, go to the library trustees, past and present, and the past and interim and present directors, Roniak, Deb, and Heather, who each took their turn shepherding this project along, and special recognition to your intrepid library foundation led by Laura Berry, that I'm sure will have raised well over a million dollars when they're finished. To the friends of the library, the staff, and town officials. This new building is a collaboration of the community. It not only takes a village to build a library, but a lot of support. And you've got that support from the citizens and taxpayers, and those at Tariff and Fundraisers, who along with the state provided the funding. Absolutely nothing makes the Mass Board of Library Commissioners happier than awarding a construction grant and seeing that grant, in this case, $4,533,000 come to fruition. And when you get LEED certification, you'll be eligible for a green incentive grant, at least another $100,000. Not a bad place to be financially. Now let's not forget Representative Dykema and Senator Spilka for their help and support for the timely library construction bond bill in 2013. It all came together at the right time. Hopkinson was 14th out of 15th on the waiting list. I can imagine what you thought when that happened, <laughs> but good things really happen to those who come who wait. We have the internet, we get Google. And my answer to them is, why do we need oceans when we have water coming through the tap? Do we need a, why do we need theaters when we can watch a movie on our phone? We need many more avenues of transferring knowledge than just the internet as we all know, can be hacked and corrupted in seconds. We need a place where people can come, come and meet, study, study together and transfer information, mouth to ear, pen to paper, or paper to eye. A public place where we can have free and equal transfer of ideas and storage of the world's knowledge for everyone from the nobleman to the pauper, without regard to race, color, creed, sexual orientation, or political affiliation. And here, they even have Google and the internet. So, you know, please, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming. This has been a long time coming, and uh, I'm just great to have you here in Hopkinton. The glass doors behind me accentuate the 19th century architecture of the original library, as well as the former Episcopal Church built in the 1890s. Inside the library now offers so many more resources than before including more materials and state-of-the-art technology. More importantly, this space offers what is most important to our community, space for people to gather, including a spacious event room, bright and cheerful children's room, a welcoming young adult room, technology classroom for adults and children, conference rooms, study spaces, and so much more. The building is environmentally friendly and, for the first time, accessible to all. 
Hopkins. This building, this is a building that honors Hopkinton's rich history and will serve our community for decades to come. As I mentioned, this has truly been a community effort, but I would like to put, acknowledge a few, just a few of the people who have stood out um, in making this project a reality. First, the Library Board of Trustees, including Russ Ellsworth, Sarah Duckett, Len Holden, and Linda Kimball, who began the planning for the library expansion back in the early 2000s. Norman Kamalo, Hopkinton's Town Manager and Hopkinton's Board of Selectmen, particularly Brian Hur, R.G. Durney, and Ben Paleko, who oversaw the transition of the library to a town department and whose leadership brought the project to town meeting for approval. John Ferrari and Dan McIntyre, as leaders of the Permanent Building Committee, as well as all of the members of the Permanent Building Committee who have supervised the construction of the project for our town. Ronak Hussein, Deb Irving, and Heather Backman, as li library directors and stewards of our beautiful library. I also want to thank the friends of the library that have supported the library project, and of course, supported Hopkins Public Library Foundation. And last but not least, I want to thank the board members of Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, but especially our core team of Katie Davenport, Catherine Principe, and Lindsay McDermott, who have devoted countless hours behind the scenes to promote and fundraise for our new library. How many places can you go today to be with your community without paying an admission fee or buying a cup of coffee to stay in the building? How many places can we go in this day and age where people truly, from all walks of life, rub shoulders? And in an age of fake news, where can we go for information we know we can trust and where we can learn to think critically and sort facts from fiction? The public library is one of those few remaining places that is a safe space to encounter new perspectives and ideas, a source of knowledge and truth, and a center for civil debate and connection across differences. The library is the place that we go to explore and learn, to communicate and work with others, to meet our neighbors, and to build relationships. It is my aim as director that this library be the beating heart of Hopkinton, a place of connection and learning that touches every single resident, that allows each and every person to pursue their own growth and share the best of themselves with this vibrant community. Now it is the time for all of us to come together and make sure that the things that are happening inside this building are as exciting and wonderful as the building is itself. Welcome to your library. Let's make it a great one. But when you think about it, as others before me have said, libraries have taken on a new meaning. They are the focal point of what a town should be. And doing and creating this beautiful new library. It is new, even though so much of it is, is older and renovated. It's a blend of the old and the new. This will add so much. This is, when you think about it, you can all give yourselves a pat on the back for leaving this wonderful legacy to the town. This will live on long before any of us are, are gone. And that is something that is truly special. This will be a, a focal point for so many people, so many families, and a resource. And you all, you all were a part of that. So congratulations. And with that, I have a Senate citation. I'll just quickly be part of it. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the Hopkinton Board of Trustees in recognition of the joyous occasion of the grand opening of the new library and it's signed by the Senate President, Stan Rosenberg, myself, Karen Stoka, as Hopkinton State Senator, and it's dated uh, today. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you so much.
Hi, I'm Ann. I'm the Young Adult Librarian. Welcome to our new teen space here at the library. We've got a laptop bar over that way. We've got comfy chairs. We've got a big screen TV in the corner. We're going to have a gaming system. We've got clubs you can sign up for. And of course, lots of awesome books. So come on in. All right, how's it feel to be in the new space? Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. We have such a rockin' space here. It's colorful, the big windows. Kids are going to love it. Hi, I'm Donna Olipson, and I'm a library assistant here in the children's room at the Hopkinton Public Library. I work the circulations desk, and I do some story times. And I'm Maureen Belger, and I'm also a circulation both um, up here in the children's room and downstairs at the main circulation desk. Excellent. And how does it feel to be in this new space, and what do you think about the result of... Uh, the renovation and expansion of the library. I'm just so excited. I think that they've done a tremendous job and I think it's going to be a great <laughs> asset to the entire community. Absolutely. I think it's just a wonderful place to be. It's definitely going to be the hub of the community. Um, this children's room is a wonderful space for the children. I think that they will just be thrilled with all that there is here. Um, for them to come and enjoy. Hi, my name is Denise Coffrin and I'm the children's librarian here at the Hopkinton Library and welcome to our brand new and improved children's room. Excellent. Uh, how does it feel to be in this space and what do you think about the result? Well, it's absolutely beautiful and, and the fact that we have space, I mean that that's the operative word and we have space for children to sit we have space for doing story times. We have computers now. We have a special computer um, dedicated to just little young people. There's places for puzzles. We, ha we have returned to our puppet theater, you know, which we had many years ago. We had one, and it was very rickety, and there was n absolutely no space for it. And I promised the kids that we would have it again. We always had puppets, but no theater. So now they, they can go to town. standing in a new space and welcoming the public in today. It feels great. It's uh, it's gratifying. We've been so happy to that the public has been so um, supportive and enthusiastic, so it feels great. We're Excellent. proud. Um, what do you think about the result of this new space? Uh, I think it looks absolutely beautiful and we're very happy with it. I love it. I love it. I'm very happy. The Johnson Roberts Architects did a fantastic job. They've worked with us for years now, going back to 2011. and have um, taken care of every detail. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for coming.